this false bottom in, which is a bunch of these little stones, pretty much. We've got substrate barrier. We're gonna put that in here, and that's gonna keep all of the dirt looking stuff from falling in between the rocks. And then, I got this big ass bag of substrate. Oh, 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 I shouldn't have touched it. Oh, my hand is never gonna be clean again. I'm also going to take this like tin pan and I'm going to try to shape it in a certain way and use it to fill up like a little island in the center that's going to be elevated and the reason for that is because if I take up this space in the center then it's going to encourage Goblin to make burrows towards the glass where we'll be able to see. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So these are the tropical springtails that I got. And it's really hard to see it on camera, but um, they're tiny little pinprick white things hanging out in there and they are the cleanup crew and what they're gonna do is they're gonna eat all of the dead things feces mold anything that we want to be safely composted instead of hanging out in the tank because it would be something otherwise that I'd have to remove myself what this is is charcoal actually that they're kept in and it absorbs like the nasty potentially harmful chemical stuff. So these guys will hang out and I'm gonna put this layer of charcoal kind of in toward the bottom of the substrate, which I probably should have done before adding all the substrate to the top. What that's gonna do is it's going to act as a nice like barrier that helps keep odors out of the tank and it's also gonna help absorb any potentially harmful stuff like um, chemical treatments in waters. And they're called springtails because when you threaten them, they kind of spring up a couple inches, which is actually pretty awesome considering their body size and weight, how far they can get into the air. Then we're doing the moss. So on top of this, we're putting down a layer of sphagnum moss, and this will help retain moisture. And it's also a really big fucking mess, apparently. First up, we've got this guy. Oh fuck, I'll put it on the screen so I'm not just standing here guessing. But he's pretty cool. He's known as like a watermelon vine. He's pretty awesome. And he's really small right now. He, the plants all came in like much smaller than I expected them to, but that's totally fine because it means I get to watch them grow and that's cool. Begonia thelmae, but it is falling apart a little, so I hope it's okay. We lost a leaf just now. Um, he's looking a little worse for wear. A little bit kind of chewed up almost. So I'm hoping he lasts because it's one of the prettier ones. And this is actually sphagnum moss. That's what that looks like when it's all like normal and hydrated and stuff. So I'm pretty sure that once I hydrate this, it's gonna um, behave normally and not be so puffy. He's really cool though. I really like how vivid the leaves are on this. Like, there's little green veins through them. I saw like some photos online that looked almost neon. It was really cool. But then I would see others where it was like really dull and kind of lackluster. And so I was hoping that it wasn't that much of a bummer in person, but this one's really pretty and I'm very happy with him. I bought my very own misters especially for this. Oh shit, is that my Postmates? My Panda Express got here. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit more 
if I'm the kill or not. So now we get to move on to getting the crap out from under my nose. I'm really ass backwards. Holy shit. Okay, so I forgot that I had a little hide that probably should have been buried. But this is a really cool little hide because it looks like a rock, right? But it's got a hole in it. And that's, I think, perfect size, pretty much. Um, but then you put this, they're magnetized, and you put this on the outside. And then this sits on the inside, and that means that I can remove this from outside of the tank and get to kind of hang out with them. Oh, that's nice! I thought I was going to make a really horrible snapping sound. I'm so sorry, pile of dick. I got a lot of dirt in your leaves. And then we're also going to get a thermometer set up in there and a hydrometer. It's a pretty cool thing that I got. It both tells you the temperature inside and the humidity, which is going to be really important and cool and good. I wish they would have had more color options for this, but it's going to make a nice little bowl where um, I'm going to put some water crystals, or whatever they're called. And they're just these like little crystals. I don't know exactly what they're made out of, but they, uh, they expand with water. And the scorpion can drink out of that, and obviously it's not going to put it at risk of drowning, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. 